He returned to Nigeria and he started asking me questions. That was the first thing he did, asking me if I slept with any. I was shocked because this is somebody we have not met physically before. Even when he came to pay my, when these people came to pay my bride price, we've not even seen each other before. Just video calls. Okay, his his family. Yes. Represented him. They yes. paid the bride price. Yes. And he just kept asking questions of who I slept with, if I slept with another. I had to admit it that yes, I did. But did you sleep with anyone? Yes. After they have paid your bride price. Yes. I slept with my ex-boyfriend, the one that got married to another woman. Again? What's up, guys? It's your girl, Neye, baby. So, guys, today, I have this woman here. She called me that she would like to share her life story with my audience, that she needs our own opinion, our advice on what to do, please. Let's listen to her story. If you have any advice, kindly drop her on the comment section. No mention your name, just go straight to your story, ma. Good day, everyone. Antine, I thank you and appreciate you for the opportunity to come here to tell my story. Please, I need help and advice. That's why I had to come here today to tell my story. My story goes like this. There's this guy I was dating. I love him so much. And he loves me too. We were so in love with each other that people were even jealous of us. It was just like we were inseparable. But one day, he left me. This guy left me and got married to another girl because that was what his parents wanted him to do. And he said he could not disobey his parents. He's a good person. Boy is a mommy's boy. I was so heartbroken. I didn't even know what to do. I was so pained, but I just have to move on with my life. After some years, my mom introduced me to someone, my mom's friend rather, someone that she was related to. And he was based abroad. He said the person was looking for a wife. He saw my picture and he liked me. I also saw his own picture and I liked him too. So I said we could start from somewhere. We kept on talking, doing video calls, chatting, always calling me. We kept like that till he said he would like to get married to me and I accepted. He sent money, his people came and saw my people, paid my bride price. We had to even fix a date for the traditional and white wedding. We kept making plans and arrangements till when he would come back. He returned to Nigeria and he started asking me questions. That was the first thing he did, asking me if I slept with any <sighs> I was shocked because this is somebody we have not met physically before. Even when he came to pay my, when these people came to pay my bride price, we've not even seen each other before. Just video calls. Okay, his his family. Yes. Represented him. They yes. paid the bride price. Yes, they came to see my people and they paid my bride price. He came, and he just kept asking questions of who I slept with, if I slept with another. Man. It was as if. My mind was just telling me that maybe he went to all these prophets and they told him that I slept with another man. Because somebody you are seeing for the first time, he did not even touch me. Because in as much he has paid my bride price, I'm his wife already. So it's not like there will be a sin if he sleeps with me or even touch me. He did not even touch me. He came, he didn't even want to sleep on the same bed with me. Still asking if I slept with another man that if I don't tell him the truth, he's going to cost us this marriage, that he might not go on with it. I say, ah, ah, what's going on? When he started threatening the marriage, and this is something that we have fixed date already. People have known about it, family and friends. What am I going to tell my people? What are we going to say? Out of fear, 
I had to admit it that yes, I did. But did you sleep with any? Yes. After they have paid your bride price? Yes. I slept with my ex-boyfriend, the one that got married to another woman. Again? Yes. I didn't even know how it happened. But it was just twice. After they paid the bride price, it just happened twice. I told him and he was so angry. He was so mad. He even said he cannot go on with the marriage again. And I had to tell him, I was begging him that please, you should forgive me. It won't happen again. Even my parents were pleading. I called a lot of people to beg him. It took how many weeks? We kept begging and begging because I know, yes, it's my fault. I did something bad. But I didn't even know how that thing happened. I pleaded with him. I begged everybody, my mom, my dad, all of us were begging him. Until finally he agreed and said he would not cancel the marriage. We got married. You know, since he's based abroad, he had to still go back. So, he rented an apartment for me and he got me a shop. So, he traveled back. I was the one managing the shop here, doing everything. After he got me that apartment, before he traveled back, I was pregnant also. So, he went back. Then, when it was time for me to give birth, he came back. I gave birth. He stayed with us for a while. But there was no trust again in the marriage. After what I did then, I wasn't feeling the marriage at all. Everything was just like, he was just doing it since people pleaded with him. Not like it was coming from his heart. There was no love. There was nothing. He went back. I stayed back with the baby. I was not happy. Everything was just like my world was turning around. I didn't know what to do. I started sleeping back with my ex-boyfriend. We both kept seeing each other and my husband didn't know about it. Even my ex-boyfriend's wife didn't know about it. My ex-boyfriend stays in Lagos here but far from where I stay. So whenever we want to see each other, he, we try to fix a place where he comes and we see each other and he goes back. Because even him was saying that he could not even concentrate on his wife or any other woman. That he loves me, he didn't even know why he listened to his mom. And I still love him. So we kept seeing each other. I don't know how my husband got the information. When he got back... All he was saying is he wanted me to swear that I've not slept with any other man since he traveled back. I was not sure of if he was really sure of what he said or he was just trying to see if I would say anything. So I denied it. I said no, that I've not slept with anybody since he traveled back. He kept saying it, that if I've slept with anybody, I should tell him. But I couldn't say it because... I didn't want what happened the last time to happen again. Let's not look like... <sighs> I would now say yes and maybe it would cost me my marriage. I didn't even know what to do. So I denied it and said no. But there have not been peace. He's always asking. He has kept asking me. I should tell him the truth. That if he finds out, it, it will not be good. <sighs> I don't know what to do. I'm just thinking, is it that I should tell him, apologize? Because my parents must not know about this for the second time. Ever since he started, he started asking me that question, I have blocked my ex-boyfriend. I don't even pick his calls. I don't even chat him. I've blocked him. I don't even want to talk to him again because I don't want anything that will scatter my marriage. That's why I had to come today. Please, Antinoye, I need your advice. I need your audience advice. Let them help me. Should I tell him the truth again or I should stand on my no that I have not slept with any other man since he traveled? I don't know what to do. I don't know if I should just come out plain and tell him that yes, I slept with my ex-boyfriend again. Because 
since we even got married, there have not been peace in my home. There is no true love. We don't even smile. We don't play. If it comes, it just comes because of, okay, yes, he has to play his right as the husband. He comes, look at his own child. We don't even stay as couples and play at all. There's no peace. There's no harmony. No joy in my home. But I'm still scared at the same time that I don't want to lose my marriage. So I don't know what I should do. Should I tell him the truth? Then whatever comes after it, I take it and accept it. Or I should stand on my no that yet I've not slept with any other. Because my parents would be so mad and ashamed of me that after all they went through to beg him that first time and he accepted to marry me, that I still had the guts to still go and still cheat on him. What will I say? What will the public people think of me like I'm a prostitute or a cheap that sleeps around? I don't know what to do. Please, it's not like I'm a loose person. But this is my ex-boyfriend. We were so in love with each other. Even him is saying it. He's not happy in his home too. He was saying it that he does not even know why he even answered his mom when he said he should marry that girl. I love him so much. And it's not like I, I've been doing it with different men. It's just this, my ex-boyfriend. But now, for the peace in my marriage, I'm, I've stopped. I've blocked him. I don't take his calls. I don't want to have anything with him again. I just want peace in my marriage. Anything that will make my husband just love me back and let us be in love together. Please. I don't want to be i don't want because my parents would even take me back if it happens if they hear of it they will tell me to find my square root since i'm done that caused this problem for myself okay guys you people have heard her i don't know the color of advice you need because all those things now you are the one that caused it for yourself the first one happened that nearly hmm, you still went back to this guy and are you sure you will stop after this one abby you have stopped I've stopped. I've blocked him. I don't. After think one month, two months, three months, now one year, you will not go back again. I won't, please. I won my marriage. Hey, um, uh, guys, please let's advise her. If you have any advice for her or opinion on how she's going to handle this thing, is it is is it the best thing for her to go and tell her husband the truth like the first time, and see what will happen, or she she maintain her lies. I don't know what to answer her, honestly. Telling your husband is another big problem. In fact, eh, this man will kick you out of his house for you to try it again. After that first one, the marriage you people are managing, packaging, to build trust again, you continued. So I don't know. Sorry, oh, don't, don't worry. Everything is going to be fine. <laughs> Please, ladies, be careful out there. Something like this, don't start it. Now, nah, the thing is paining her, she's regretting. I don't know. Help me share this video because some people might be doing something like this. They will still be doing it. Maybe after watching this video, they will change their life and start living a good life.